Your saltwater guy, Captain Dave Hansen, checking in. It must be 12 o'clock somewhere. It's uh, Thursday. And you know what Thursday is? It's Opsin USA Thursday. We talk about fluorocarbon on Thursdays, and today's no different, gang. Yesterday's show was all about fly lining and how important it is to fly line. Our game plan that's coming out at the website here today at 4 at 3:30 on yoursaltwaterguide.com. It's all about fishing Catalina, San Clemente Island, fishing the coast, fishing the Channel Islands, and it's all about fly lining. It's super important to know how to fly line and to be involved in fly lining this time of year with the warm water and the bass bite and the yellowtail and the sea bass and everything else that's going on you need to learn how to fly line your baits and then it's super important to have a nice piece of fluorocarbon on the front of your line as you go down to your hook now if you look on here i use a very very short piece this is my braided line here tied right here a little knot and then our piece of floral carbon tied to our stick bait but you can have it tied straight to your hook whatever you're using you're always going to want to use a little piece of floral carbon gang everybody asks me all the time captain dave do you use floral carbon listen here's the deal there's never been a time where i've been out fishing where i thought you know what i probably would have caught more fish if i didn't have a piece of floral gang the deal with the floral carbon is it's invisible once it hits the water it's going to make it hard for the fish to see your line plus it's uh, abrasion resistant so it's going to have a tendency to not get sawed off by these barracuda or by the bluefin or by the calico bass with all their teeth fishing in the kelp you want to have some fluorocarbon this opsin fluorocarbon is the fluorocarbon i use just go to opsin USA.com. Opsin, if you look right here on the back, OpsinUSA.com. You go to the website, you enter the code YSWG, you're going to save 10% on your fluorocarbon gang, and you're going to get free shipping. Now, it's super important to have fluorocarbon gang. I don't know a lot of people that are offering you a bargain on fluorocarbon, but we are. I teamed up with Greg over here at Opsin, and we're giving you all a discount, plus we're giving you free shipping. And then we're announcing Isaac Romero won the lifetime membership to your saltwater guide because he went over to the website and he purchased a spool of fluorocarbon. I think he purchased four, actually. And Isaac's won the lifetime membership to YourSaltWaterGuide.com simply by ordering some fluorocarbon that you're going to order anyway. So we had such a great response. We're going to send out an email. Everybody that's in my email is going to get an email blast about this option and about the contest. Again, for the month of July, anybody that orders some option fluorocarbon you're gonna get entered into the opportunity to win a lifetime membership to YourSaltWaterGuide.com. With over 400 how-to videos, you can't go wrong, plus a couple of little upgrades. You can have all the spots you want. You can have a game plan every Thursday. So go to OpsinUSA.com, order some fluorocarbon. That gets you automatically entered into the contest. Just enter the code YSWG. That way Greg and I know who you are so we can make sure that we pull your name out of the hat when it's time to give away the lifetime membership at the August 1st is when we'll give that away. And you'll get 10% off your Opsin fluorocarbon. Now look, I don't use a phenomenally long piece of fluorocarbon because I don't think that the fish are cartoon fish. I believe that the fish are gonna swim up to your bait, say this is an anchovy on a hook tied to the fluorocarbon. That fish is gonna swim up, he's gonna not see the fluorocarbon, he's gonna eat your bait on the fly line, and you're gonna get a nice fish. 
I don't think you need a super long piece because I don't think that fish is going to swim up here. Look at the bait and then look 14, 18 inches up the line and then see the knot and then not bite it. I just don't believe that's how fish are. And I've only been fishing for a living for 47 years, so I'm just telling you experience from what I've seen out there. I think all you need is a small piece, 12, 16, 18 inches is all you need of a piece of fluorocarbon unless you have a phenomenal amount of extra money then spool the whole reel up with fluorocarbon greg over at opposite fluorocarbon he'll love that if you spool all your reels with fluorocarbon but i don't believe you need to gang i think you can get away with a short piece a short piece tied straight to your braided line is the way i fish it the way most of my friends fish it that fish for a living we're going to use this short little piece but yes, always have a piece of fluorocarbon because first of all, it's invisible. And that's the whole thing is you're fishing for fish that have been fished all the time. So you want to make sure that you have an advantage when your line touches the water. When you cast your bait out into the water, when you're fly lining, you want to make sure you have an advantage to catch a fish, that being fluorocarbon. Then when you do hook the fish, the abrasion resistance on this fluorocarbon is going to make sure that you don't get busted off especially if you're fishing in the kelp it's super important because you don't want to get sawed off in the kelp so look at gang we tie it straight to the braid there's no beads there's no swivels there's no weights it's fly line from the hook to the end of your reel and you do not need a bunch of fluorocarbon. You just need a nice small piece and then no weights, no beads, no swivels. If you have some beads and some swivels in your bag, give them to your buddy you're taking out fishing. That way you'll know you'll outfish him every time. But you don't need all that crap on your line because it's gonna stop you from getting a bite. Remember, every time you add something to your line, you're increasing the weight and you're no longer fly lining. And when you're fly lining, it's all about contact bait, contact with the reel, and no weights, no swivels, no beads, none of that crap that you're gonna, that you saw your first sister's brother's cousin's aunt using. You wanna have it tied straight to the end of your line. Fluorocarbon for fly lining, fluorocarbon is the key when you're fishing because of the invisibility of the line and the abrasion resistance so that's our little mini seminar for you guys today i want to thank you for joining us we'll have another one for you tomorrow friday oh look at this opposite fluorocarbon too this is another thing i really like about it look it's got a magnet they stack the spools stack on each other plus you can use it as a tackle box you can have your hooks right there and just Lay them right on there, the hooks stay right on there. It's like a little tackle box, it's like a little mini tackle box. That magnet saves you a phenomenal amount of brain damage when you're out fishing. I'll throw one of these on the bait tank, throw some hooks on top of it, grab a chunk of floral, grab a hook, throw it out in the water, go fly line, go catch yourself some fish. So don't forget, Opsin Floral Carbon, Opsin USA, go there, YSWG is the code to save the 10%. Go get yourself some fluorocarbon. Get entered in the contest. Congratulations, Isaac. Talk to you guys tomorrow. Thanks.